okay where we left off in our game our game was working and we could play the game and we put in two levels and the hero can die and we have up to two levels and as the levels go up higher there's more enemies that are brought onto the screen so what we need to do to make the game better is we need to add more than two levels we need to add a level three four five six etc and as we go up higher in levels we need to have more enemies but we also need to have different types of enemies and different types of movements as well and the other thing is in when we first started our game in videos five six and seven we created this high scoreboard that would save the top scores of the game and then display them at the end and then if you got a high score you could submit your high score and a PHP file would be called and then the scores would be loaded into a database and we had that all set up and I'd like to make sure that that works before we leave the game so first of all to add more levels what we need to do is we need to go to the game on keyframe where our code is and we'll scroll down in the code to where our levels are created and here it is it's in the create aliens function we've got a switch here that functions off of the game level so if the game level is one it'll call case one and if the game level is two it'll call case two and so on and so forth so what we could do is we could add more levels by simply copying this all the way down to the break line right here all the way to break and copy and then paste and then what we can do is we can say case 3 now one thing that I've already added is, is I've increased the alien speed to add the level of difficulty now the default alien speed variable was 6 so in case 1 it's just the default which would be 6 but in case 2 it's 8 so in case 3 for instance we could make it 10 and we could add a few more aliens so we could change it from 20 we could change it to 24 and so now we would have four more aliens or four, four more enemies appear on the screen and so if we want to add another another um, level we just once again copy this from the case line case 3 all the way down to break we'll just copy the whole thing copy new line paste and we'll say case 4 for level 4 alien speed we could up it to 12 and then the number of aliens we could up that to let's say 28 and so we just added two more levels to our game now it's still the same aliens with the same motion so we still need to add different kinds of aliens with different kinds of movements and capabilities to make the game harder but it this is a start so I'm gonna hit file save as and I'm gonna call this 11 2L version C so 2LC and I'll save that so we've got that now the other thing that we want to do is we want to add a few other things to the game that we need for one when the game is over it doesn't take us to the game over screen so we're gonna need to add that so if you if you tried out your game at game over it doesn't take us to the game over keyframe so we'll go into our code and we'll put that in so in our code down here where it says function kill hero if game lives equal equals zero trace game over well we're gonna comment out trace game over and we'll go down here and we'll say go to capital A and capital S stop open and close parentheses and then in quotation marks game over and that should take us to the game over label frame label right so that will at the end of the game take us to the game over screen so that sounds good now the game is set on the high scoreboard when we first enter the game if we look at the code here now we haven't looked at it in a while but where we left off with it was it was working and it loads a PHP file now this whole thing needs to be tested from a basically a web server scenario so for that what I did was I installed WAMP server and you can see here it's green which means it's working so you're gonna have to fire up your WAMP server it's gonna have to go from red to yellow to green which means you have all services started when it's green it means all services are started meaning the Apache web server is running 
PHP is installed, MySQL server is running. So we've got start all services and it's green so we know it's running. We also need to put it online instead of put offline. So everything's working. Right? We have a database in here. Now in previous, if you want to go back and cover this uh, previous tutorials, you're going to look for parts 5, 6, and 7 where we created the database and did all that. So the web server is running. Now in WAMP server what you can do is it shows you where your www directory is. This is where your web server directory is. And you can see in here I've got a folder called game and in there I've got a folder called game high score and in here I've got all the different versions of this game that I'm working on. And you can see that I've got the web pages and I've also got the flash files and the Swift movies. And here is my get underscore two dot PHP file and my register dot PHP file. This is important. Once again, all this is covered in previous um, parts to this tutorial series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my flash file, go to File, Publish Settings, and I'm going to publish a Flash Redo 2LC Swift movie, and I'm going to do the same thing for my HTML file. I'm going to say RoboGame HTML, and I'll say underscore 2LC. So there should be a 2LC HTML file and a 2LC Flash movie. So I'll click Publish, and I'll click OK, and I'll click File Save. All right, so now if I open up a browser, and we'll open up a browser, and I'll go to localhost, you'll see in localhost there's my web server. This is the directory of my web server. I can go into Game, I can go into Game High Score, and there it is, RoboGame2LC. Now if I go into 2LC, it should load the Flash movie, and it does, but something funny happens. You can see that the names show up, but not the scores. Let's play the game really quickly to see if it takes us to the game over screen. So what we'll do is, we'll just die really quickly here, and you can see it takes us to the game over screen, which is good. And here is where we need our score to show up, but as you can see, our score 400 is not showing up in the score box over here. So that's a problem. So we need to add the score in here as well. So we've discovered a couple of errors that we need to fix. So we'll go back here and we'll go fix those. So to fix the first problem of the scores not showing up here, what I did was on the text, on the names, you can see that if you highlight the text boxes, the anti-alias under character for this dynamic text is set to use device fonts, right? Um, I guess this is a problem maybe with the font not embedding correctly, but what happens is if you go over here to the score, it's at anti-alias for animation. So what we want to do is we want to take all of these text boxes and turn them into use device fonts. So I'm just going to go to each one and change it to use device fonts. All right. And this should fix that problem of the scores not showing up in our database. So we've got the use device fonts. So now that should work. Now the next thing is if we go to the game over keyframe. On the game over keyframe, if we go down here to the score text box, you'll see the score text box is also anti-alias for animation. So we want to change that to use device fonts. And the name, I want to also do use device fonts. And this dynamic text box, I also want to use device fonts. Once you've done that, there's another problem that I want to talk about. This name of this score box is named score underscore txt. And that's not a big deal, but it just so happens that in our scoreboard, this score box is also named score underscore txt. And that doesn't sit well with me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this text box to score underscore txt2 and hit enter. And then in the code, I'm going to put a few things. In the programming, I'm going to say score underscore txt2 dot text equals the score variable, which we have. And also, I'm going to say if score, the variable score, is greater than the low high score, 
congratulations, you got a high score, otherwise you didn't, that's fine. But I need to go through this code and I need to change the score underscore txts to 2. So I'm going to change this one to 2. And I'm going to go look here, ah, here it is, score underscore txt 2. And that should all be good. So I'm going to hit Control S to save, right? And then I'll hit Control Enter to publish the Flash movie, right? Notice how when you publish the Flash movie, you don't see the high scores just by publishing the Flash movie. You actually have to, to get this PHP to MySQL call functioning and rendered um, and making it work, you need to do it through the browser. So what I need to do is I need to open up the browser and I need to go revisit the game. So I'll hit refresh, right? And then I'll go revisit the game now. And now you can see the name show up, the score show up. We can play the game. We can get a high score. We'll get a high score really quickly here. All right, and then we'll die. Let's get the high score of everything. All right, we've got a pretty high score, so now we're going to die. All right, game's over. We still need to remove these men, but you can see the score actually showed up there. So now all we have to do is submit our name. So I'll type in, uh, I'll type in D A, or I'll say D underscore A. I've never used an underscore before. We'll see if that works. And then I'll hit submit, and it says that it was posted, and there's the score takes us back to the high scoreboard and the score is retrieved from the database and we can see our high score. And so everything worked. We just need to remove these men from the screen.